Marcus uh, is spending some time home alone without a babysitter, kind of a latchkey kid, and he hurts himself, and I'm the only one who can take him to the hospital. And I'm searching for a doctor because he literally has this knife sticking out of his foot, and I sort of see this elderly gentleman doctor, and I'm about to take him to him, and then behind him I see this incredibly beautiful doctor, and I immediately move and present the uh, injured child to Dr. Sam Lake played by Adrian Palicki. So um, thus begins a really long and cool uh, relationship between the two of us. Today is, you know, I think we're about five episodes into our relationship. So um, Adrian's character is a no-nonsense doctor. She has a lot of guys who play a lot of games to try to get her. And she, she has basically denied Will many times. Um, but Will is put some some chinks in her armor and now they're pretty much really into each other. She's invited me as a plus one to her uh, her hospital gala and that's a big deal because she never invites any plus ones so our relationship is progressing her feelings for me are progressing but then um, I have to I have a lot of conflict because Marcus's birthday party is on the same day. Will's got a lot of shortcomings, but he knows what he wants, and when he wants it, he does anything in his power to get it. So he's never sort of turned down, he's never uh, relented on trying to get Dr. Lake. He has different strategies, but um, it's paid off, and you know, things are going very well for Will at this moment. One is that she doesn't fall for any of his normal charms that you know, kind of make it easy for him to get girls. So, you know, the rejection is always a aphrodisiac in some level. But I think deeper than that, um, she's a very cool, grounded, with it girl who's not very smart, calls him on everything, all his BS, and, you know, loves, is, a, is sort of a tomboy wrapped up in a beautiful woman's body, and I think I think that's kind of Will's ideal. There's this sort of very cute and funny moment where Will unearths this journal he made when he was 10 years old about his perfect girl. And he leaves through it and Dr. Sam literally like hits every, every mark. So this is kind of, this is the one in his eyes. And it's fun to see Will kind of put in that position. You don't expect it. You think he's just gonna be this kind of ladies man cad the whole series, but he basically falls in love. And that's, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, sort of turn. Adrian is, is, <laughs> is almost like as I just described her character. She's just so cool, down to earth, like, you know, I could see her just being able to hang with a group of like 20 guys and all of them just all falling in love with her, you know, without a, another girl in sight. And, um, it's sort of that very charming and uh, irresistible combo of a very feminine, beautiful woman who kind of has these kind of very chill, not super girly qualities uh, that I know a lot of men find hard to resist. <laughs> the chemistry that unfolds, I mean, there's a very physical attraction which is at the core of them, but at the same time they have a ton of fun together and what's the reason a lot of the comedy is generated from the fact that everything goes wrong with Will trying to get her. You're, you think he's about to get her and then this horrible lie comes out. You think that he's about to get her but then she gets rushed off to some emergency doctor. So there's this sort of her job creates big obstacles and the fact that Will's life is now becoming increasingly complicated with this little boy and, and Fiona next door, that there's all these huge obstacles that get in the way of him actually consummating and getting what he wants. And that goes on for quite a long time, but there's a happy ending.